Hello, peaceful world. Here is another update from Ukraine, from a respected average citizen, a young mom, her precious baby, and in this case, our dog as well. Sir Charles, our naughty Scotty, had quite an eventful day yesterday, which we will tell you about um, in a bit. Uh, this is Mia. Uh, she is not sleeping. <laughs> I know usually that's the way you see her. Uh, but now is our playtime. Uh, and I think now we will roll over and do some tummy time, which she actually adores. I know it's rare for babies to enjoy tummy time, but Mia loves it. I, I hope you will see it. Uh, yeah, can you see her? You cannot see her face. Let, let me turn her. Darling, let's look this way. Show people how much you adore your tummy time. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did one. So yeah. Uh, Charles, uh, some of you are aware of his issues, uh, dental uh, problems, you know, he's an elderly gentleman, he's 12, he's almost 12, and uh, it was evident that um, his teeth needed some um, treatment because uh, he was trying to scratch his mouth when he was eating, he was clearly suffering, not only because of his uh, esophagus issues, but um, something was not okay with his teeth. And the only way to find out what it was, was to put him under anesthesia uh, because uh, he's a very naughty dog. Uh, he's a beast. He's a true animal. Uh, and you cannot just do an exam and conclude whether he needs to be put under anesthesia. No. Uh, in order to examine Charlie properly, you need to put him to sleep, you know. And uh, that, is, that is very difficult sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that was our day yesterday, finding out uh, what the issues were and fixing them right away. Uh, a week prior to this uh, surgery, dental surgery appointment, now I took him to a cardiologist where he got his echo. And that was quite a um, sad experience for me, uh, because Charlie seemed kind of weaker uh, than he usually is. Uh, and, um, you know, that made me sad because I felt like he's getting fragile, he's old, and now it's even possible for two people to hold him quite easily, and, uh, you know, it led me towards the path of his um, inevitable death, and uh, this is not the kind of uh, train I like to hop on, uh, but um, it made me, you know, think about these kind of things, and I was, um, you know, upset. So yeah, but yesterday, yesterday was a disaster as always. So the moment we entered the hospital, uh, he started uh, jumping and barking and screaming and trying to interact with everything and everyone he uh, saw in his sight, uh, totally out of control, uh, absolutely awfully behaving animal. And uh, yeah, so when we got to the exam room, uh, we needed to put a catheter in Charlie's paw, and all the doctors who uh, know him started sharing their stories with Charlie. Because everybody has a story, his own or her own special story with my dog as a patient. He beat everyone, uh, he almost ate a catheter uh, a few times, um, usually it takes three people to hold him, and uh, he's very aggressive if you try to manipulate, to do some manipulations with him. He's perfect with Mia, actually. <laughs> I can leave her and him in bed sleeping together, and I'm certain that mm, nothing bad will happen. But he is very protective of his body when it comes to doctors, groomers, and even me, actually. I cannot pet him everywhere. I can only pet his ass. He wants me to touch his ass, that's all. That's where I can scratch him and pet him. Uh, everything else is, is a big no-no, even for me, his mama. So, yeah, uh, I, I heard all of those wonderful stories once again. Uh, and uh, somehow, having all of those challenges with my dog made the hospital love him. You know, he's just the legend, the legend. And of course, uh, I failed to hold him uh, strong enough for the doctor, for the surgeon to put in the catheter. Uh, so he uh, asked me out of the room. He grabbed him really brutally. Charlie screamed like, I don't know, 
like, like a dying lamb. And um, I am not angry with the doctor whatsoever. That's what had to be done. Uh, yes, honey boo. <laughs> yes. That was the only way to restrain him and put the catheter in. Uh, then was, uh, you know, the long wait. Um, of course, I sobbed, you know, when I left uh, the hospital and entered a coffee shop to get some uh, coffee. I was like, <laughs> I roll a latte, <laughs> please. Uh, and yeah, that, that, that was a horrible time. I hate this, uh, you know, Anastasia wait times. Uh, but after one hour and a half, uh, I was asked to mm. come pick him up. And I saw my uh, boy still sleepy, mm. still, still unable to. Yes, honey poo. <laughs> Aku -poo. Aku -poo. Still unable to uh, move his body, but still trying to bite all the doctors. <laughs> it was a challenge to remove his catheter this time. Uh, and yeah, so what happened at the surgery? Uh, they discovered that uh, 10 of his uh, teeth were no longer vital. And um, they were pulled out. Uh, they also found a, a piece of a bone uh, stuck in his gum. Uh, that's not because I feed him bones. No, he has his dietary food, canned and dry food. That's all he eats. I'm very strict. Now, no treats for my dog. Like nothing ever. Maybe a piece of a crust of a pizza like once a year, literally. But I should be in a very special mood for that to happen. But uh, he can uh, try to eat something on the street, it's a huge issue, because once he gets something, I cannot get, get it out of his mouth, you know. Uh, so yeah, a piece of a bone was got out of his jaws, uh, along with the teeth. And uh, he's recovering quite well, you know. He, he needed a few uh, painkillers yesterday, but today he seems to be okay. Uh, I need to apply some uh, gel uh, on his gums, uh, but of course that is not possible because this is Charlie, you cannot just put anything in his mouth. Uh, so I apply it on a toy and, and he's able to play, he wants to play, he has a fantastic appetite of an elephant, uh, he only eats canned food now, uh, and uh, he's his usual grumpy self who wants everything to be done his way who wants to lie in his uh, armchair and uh, that's all, you know, eat and play and uh, look at us as, as if we are his servants. That's all. That's all he wants to do and that's all he does. But I'm very happy that we are hopefully out of the woods. I hope there won't be any secondary infections and complications, but he survived the anesthesia. Uh, which was a big concern for me because once his heart stopped actually because of the anesthesia that happened maybe four years ago uh, and uh, I saw it, you know, my, heart, my dog's heart stopped in front of me and I saw this doctor's passing just like in a movie, you know, like everybody get here, oh my god, I need some help, uh, and oxygen, oxygen or whatever they were screaming, I don't remember. Uh, it was awful. Uh, so I'm glad that now he's fine, he's back home. I know he's old and he will die relatively soon, like most of his life is over for sure. But I love him so much, that's my first baby, really. I will make a separate episode about Charles. Hopefully it will not be a eulogy. <laughs> I will find some time uh, to tell you more about him. He uh, deserves to be talked about. Uh, it's a phenomenal dog, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that, that is just so much fun. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, Mia, I wonder whether you will remember Charles, but you will certainly hear a lot about him. So that's how uh, we are doing. And uh, I think uh, before we end the video, Mia, let's go and show people Sir Charles, okay? Let's try to do that. I will pick you up. Anyway, you're getting tired. Oh, yeah. oh, that's my baby. That's my precious baby. And now I will try to get the phone. Yeah. And we'll try to show you our naughty Scotty. Naughty Scotty. Who is my naughty boy now? He's right here in his throne. You see? This is Sir Charles. He is our hero.
this dog is indestructible. He's had so many ailments, he's had so many medical experiences, you can't imagine. And that's the cats and that's Molly. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big fluffy family. That's it. Uh, we're fine. Uh, Charlie made it through yet again. And yeah, I hope all of you have a nice weekend. And we'll say bye to you. Yeah. Bye bye.